everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I have a quick video for you going over the news on NHL 25 not having GM Connected and the future of the NHL series coming to PC. First thing we're going to talk about is GM Connected, which is now being referred to as Connected Franchise. And it was confirmed by one of our community managers that it will not be appearing in NHL 25. We'll have more news on franchise mode as we get closer to release. We should be getting a deep dive soon. But they do say, however, there won't be an online franchise mode this year. Last year, we mentioned that Connected Franchise was a multi-year development focus area. While Connected Franchise is not coming to NHL 25, we understand how important this is to the community, and we have dedicated resources investigating what is possible for the future. Now, in case you didn't see it, last year there was actually a video that EA released where it was Mike and Chris, and they were talking about Connected Franchise, and it did say it was something that they were starting to look at, and it is going to be coming to the future of the NHL video game series. However, in that video, they did say it would be a multi-year path, so with it only being about a year since they announced it, it does make sense that it's not in the game, even though it should already be in here. So if you're hoping to get your hands on NHL 25 to play GM Connected, Connected Franchise, whatever they want to call it, that's not going to be happening. Now, I've been pretty transparent about this. It's not a mode that I actually care about. I won't ever play Connected Franchise. It's just not for me. But I do think it should be in the game for people who want it. Now, for those of you wondering what Connected Franchise or GM Connected was, a lot of people have been asking. Essentially, you take a franchise mode and you have 30 people or you could have 16 people or whatever, and you would all control a different team. You can make trades, you play games against each other, and you try to win the Stanley Cup. You build your team through free agency in the draft, and it would all be connected online. Now, one of the main issues I ever had with GM Connected or Connected Franchise, when I talk to other people, they want to play every game in the season, right? They want to set up three or four days a week where you match up against each other and you have to try and coordinate all that. And I, when I play franchise mode, I like to sim my games. Like, I, I'm not a GM if I'm playing the games, if that makes sense. I've discussed this with a lot of people. Like, a lot of people, especially in the Discord. So if you're not already in the Discord, there's a link down below. But when talking about GM Connected or Connected Franchise, they want to play the game. So, like, I would match up against, say, Timmy on Tuesday. And then Thursday, I have a game against Mike. And I have to be there at, like, 7 o'clock. And I just, I don't have time for that. Now, likely, there would be a feature where you can just sim the games, and that's what I would prefer, but it seems like a lot of people would prefer to play the games, and I just don't see where I would fit in in that. Doesn't mean I don't think it should be in the game, but it's just not something that is appealing to me. So that's it right there. It is confirmed that NHL 25 will not have a connected franchise. There's no online franchise coming to the game. And as soon as I have any more info on GM Connected or Connected Franchise in the future, I will have a video for you right here on the channel. Now, as for the NHL video game series returning to PC, this has been something that a lot of people have talked about in the past. We also have an update regarding that. The same community manager that talked about GM Connected talked about PC, and they had to say, in a reply on the forum, as I've mentioned previously, they are extremely well aware of the feedback. They've seen it here as well as Reddit and in any surveys we've done in the past. I also include it in my regular reports. The issue is the very big investment of resources for what would most likely be a relatively small player base. It also means diverting work on the console version to get a PC version up and running. I know there's always interest in a PC version. It's just not going to happen until there's a big enough community to support it. Yes, I understand people feel that there would be an instantly huge audience for this game, but chances are excellent. The reality of that is far smaller than anticipated. So not only will we not be getting GM connected in NHL 25, but who knows if we're ever going to see the NHL video game series return to PC. Now, one more post from the community manager had this to say about NHL being on PC. In a reply to a message talking about the laziness of EA, our community manager said it's not laziness at all. Porting the game is just one piece. Supporting it is another. Not to mention licensing. It's a very large amount of work and investment for a much smaller player base. Madden and FC have a player base to support a PC version. Hockey, being a niche sport, does not currently. We would love to have a PC version of the game. However, it needs to be done when it makes sense. Hopefully, that happens in the future. They didn't outright say it will never be happening, but it doesn't look good for at least the near future. I'd say 25, 26, 27. Probably not going to see any of those games with a native PC version. Now for NHL 25, I do expect it to be playable on PC like NHL 24 was. If you have Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, you could play NHL 24 without ever needing to own an Xbox console. And I do expect that to happen for NHL 25. However, that's not going to be until like March, April, May, just like NHL 24 was. Real quickly, if you didn't know, you can launch NHL 24 on your PC using the Xbox app if you have Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. You don't need to have an Xbox, but you do need to have Game Pass Ultimate, which does cost a bit. There's some latency issues. Some people have reported that it's great and it works perfect. Some people have reported that it's terrible. I personally haven't tried it, but I did watch Henrique stream it, 
And when he was live streaming, he didn't seem to have any issues. Doesn't mean you won't have issues, but it is an option if you want to play like franchise mode or something. Now coming very soon will be a franchise mode deep dive and I'm gonna have everything that you need to know about franchise mode in NHL 25. Word on the street is they absolutely revamped franchise mode, which was needed to be done before they put in GM Connected. So let's see what they have in store for NHL 25. Hopefully NHL 25 does have a massive overhaul for franchise mode and we can all enjoy it. Anyways, y'all, I'm gonna get out of here. Thank you for watching. Let me know down below what you think. Are you disappointed in NHL not returning to PC? And are you disappointed about GM Connected? Leave a comment down below and we'll start a discussion. Anyways, y'all, thanks for watching. Stay frosty.